Let's listen in. Today we're talking about Japan's ambitious campaign to slim down its citizenry. The country has implemented a new law that requires companies and local governments to measure the waistlines of Japanese people between the ages of 40 and 74 as part of their annual checkups. If someone exceeds the government limits of 33.5 inches for men and 35.4 inches for women, they will be given dieting guidance. And after three months, if they haven't lost weight, they'll be steered toward further reeducation after six more months. The government's goal is to reduce the overweight population by 10% over the next four years and 25% over the next seven years. They argue that this campaign will help keep diseases like diabetes and strokes in check, as well as rein in the ballooning healthcare costs in an aging society. Some critics, however, argue that the government guidelines are too strict and will encourage overmedication and raise healthcare costs. They believe that there is no need for the Japanese to lose weight because they are already slender compared to other countries like the United States. In fact, a survey found that the average waist size for Caucasian American men was 39 inches, lower than the 40-inch threshold established by the International Diabetes Federation. However, it's important to note that waistlines have not been officially measured in Japan in the past, so there isn't much data on this. Despite some skepticism, Japan is pushing ahead with this campaign. Companies like Matsushita have to measure the waistlines of at least 80% of their employees and have specific targets for weight loss. If they fail to meet these targets, they may face financial penalties. Some experts argue that the government's real goal is to shift healthcare costs onto the private sector. They believe that the government's focus should be on reducing smoking rates, which are still high in Japan. It'll be interesting to see how this campaign progresses and if it will have a significant impact on Japan's overweight population. That's it for today.